kitchen. So over the duration of my YouTube channel, one of my favorite videos to film for you has been my piping tips techniques video. And the reason for this is just because I love piping buttercream cupcakes. Now in these videos, I show you four different piping tips and the different styles they create. So I have four more piping tips and I'm gonna show you the different styles these create on mini cupcakes, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so before we get piping, all I've got here is my mini cupcakes. Now, I just used 12 grams of cake mixture in the cases when I baked these. I think my four piping tips that I'm gonna use today, a batch of buttercream, which I've just colored in this Wilton rose color, and my piping bags. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is fill my piping bags with my buttercream. So if you've seen any of my piping videos before, you will know that I just trim the end off and slot my piping tips into the end making sure that it's secure. I then use a tall glass just to hold my piping bag while I fill that. So I'm just going to push that buttercream down the bag just until it starts coming out the end of the piping tip. I'm then just going to twist the end of the piping bag just to secure that. I'm going to hold the end of the piping bag between my thumb and my first finger and just use my right hand to apply pressure to the bag. Okay so the first piping tip that I'm going to use is is this medium close star tip. Now this is the 195K and as you can see, it's got quite a lot of teeth that are just slightly curved over. So all I want to do is start in the center, pull the icing bag around just so it hugs the edge of that cupcake. Once I've done a full rotation, I'm just gonna lift the piping bag slightly and go over the existing swell. I'm then just gonna stop applying pressure at the end of the bag and just pull away just to create this really pretty point. So here we have this really pretty modern swirl. Okay, so for the next cupcake, I'm just gonna create a buttercream ruffle effect. Now I'm gonna use the piping tip 124, and this one just has a teardrop shape at the end. Okay, so I've got my piping bag filled with my buttercream. So I'm gonna hold the piping bag against the cupcake with the larger end of the piping tip pointed inwards to the center. I'm gonna turn the cupcake as I go. I'm just gonna start to wave that buttercream and I'm just gonna go around and create a full rotation. Now, when I get back to where I started, I'm just gonna bring that piping bag in slightly and do another rotation inside. Once I meet the middle, I'm then just gonna push the piping tip into the center just to close up that gap. And this is just gonna create this really pretty ruffle effect. Okay, so for the third piping tip, I'm gonna use this one, which is a number 22. Now, this is just an open star tip, but it is a very small piping tip. So the end of this one just measures around a centimeter with the top having an opening of around five millimeters. Okay, so I've got my piping bag ready, but the first thing that I'm gonna do with this cupcake is just to create a small buttercream dome on the top. So I'm just gonna use my offset spatula. But for this cupcake, I'm just gonna create some mini swirls. So I'm just gonna choose a position on the side of the cupcake, which is about a centimeter of the way up. And I'm just gonna place my piping bag just hovering above. Now I'm gonna start in the center and just create one rotation I'm then gonna stop applying pressure and just pull away I'm then gonna work my way around the cupcake fitting in five of these swirls around the end I've then got this gap in the center and I'm just gonna create one more on the top so there we have this really pretty mini swirl effect So for my final tip, I'm gonna use this one, which is the Wilton 6B. Now, this is a very large open star tip. Now, I have used this in one of my other videos, but I think this is my favorite to use on mini cupcakes. I'm just gonna use this piping tip just to create a decorative dome on the top. So I'm just gonna place the piping bag directly above the cupcake. Now, once the buttercream gets to the desired width of the cupcake, I'm then gonna stop applying pressure and just pull up. And this just creates this really pretty decorative dome on the top of the cupcake. So here we have 
have the finished mini cupcakes using the four different piping tips to create four different styles. Also, don't forget if you're on the hunt for different ways to pipe your cupcakes, then don't forget to check out the other videos in my piping techniques series, which are on my channel. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have then don't forget to give this video a like. Also if you haven't already then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. Bye!